my new wheels. Holy cow. They're gorgeous. Work? Yep. Awesome. Yep. That is some sweet, sweet wheels. Kaiser wheels. It is a little messy. It's a good, this is our busiest time of the season. Yeah. So, um, the machine doesn't really apply to road race stuff. It does all our bead locks. Okay. There's a lot of general machine shop stuff in here. Um, this here is actually the, the machine that spins all the wheel parts. Yep. Um, they're breaking it down. They just got done with a real deep 15 by it's like a 10 yep. part over there. Uh, setting up to do a real shallow part here tomorrow. Okay. Unfortunately, you don't get to see this run, but um, if you make it back here, we probably will be running it. All right. Uh, we do everything from little go-kart wheels all the way up to big 32 and 38 inch tractor. So. That's crazy. Yeah. I also race carts, so. Okay. Yeah. So you know the whole game. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's that? Go-kart Yeah, we actually own a speed roll go-kart track. Very cool. Very cool. Um, inventory's upstairs. That's where we hold a small percentage of it on the, the yard next to us here, where my mother actually lives. We utilize all the buildings for okay. our storage. And, and, uh, our heat treating actually happens. Everything that comes into us comes into us in these flat sheets called an O-conditioned aluminum. Yep. Um, they, they shear them into a blank. From there, they get a circle. And every size circle, depending on how big it is, we get a one into a blank. Okay. So that's kind of how, how your wheel actually starts. Look at all these. What's going on with these? These are all late model parts that are just in process for an order. Right. Um, they have a little bit unique uh, in there that fits to the center. Yeah. It's all mainly dirt track stuff, East Coast modified. Right. Like so, so that's like a three-piece wheel that gets bolted together? Yeah. Everything yeah. we do here is three-piece. Yeah. It's our assembly area. So once... Uh, once your stuff gets pulled, you know, work the centers over on them and, and drop them in. This is the fire that we're going to get ready to go. Basically, yeah, this is the, the final resting place before they hit the road. Yeah. These two machines basically do the same thing. Uh, they're taking a, a spun half that's already been cooked and ready. They're going to polish on yep. the powder. Yeah. And they're cutting the inside of it out. Oh, okay. And they're just removing it from the outside of the spinner. Uh, from there, it's either going to go into one of the two polish rooms. We have a polish room here, and we have another building on the other yard that's designated to it. Uh, they got a spaceman working in there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we run uh, six of those machines, and then uh, the parts will get cleaned. Yeah. And then brought into the assembly area. So if I wanted to paint the center section, yeah, I'd... all you have to do is uh, make sure you take the air out of the tires. Yeah. When you get done. Uh, loosen up the 15 modular bolts, pull it out. Yeah. We set the rims and tires aside. And you can, you know, bring them and have them powder coated. Right. Okay. Um, you can anodize these. You know, whatever you want it to do with them. Okay. Make it match the car. Um, and then simply just bolt them back in. Torque, uh, you know, 18 to 20 foot pounds of torque. Uh huh. On the center. And uh, once you get it all bolted back together, you can air up. You should have any problem. Fantastic. So I guess you want to get paid for these now. Sure. <laughs> yeah, go and get some diapers with the wife. All right. Yeah, I like that.